You can find just about anything on the internet, but when you click a link, how do you know what's on the other side? Phishing and malware are more prevalent than ever and pose a real threat to the personal information of yourself and your users. You can make sure your users can quickly identify bad sites and help protect their information with WebRisk from Google Cloud. WebRisk contains a fully managed database of URL threats that you can scan against to know if a URL is safe. Once you know if it's unsafe, you can take appropriate action, such as blocking the content or letting your users know they shouldn't proceed. When you look up a URL, Google checks to see if it's in the database of known unsafe URLs. This database is constantly updated by scanning over 1 billion URLs every day. Using a combination of rules, machine learning, and human analysis, URLs are gathered and scanned from sources like Google Search. The WebRisk database is constantly kept up to date, so you and your users can be confident that the analysis is reliable and accurate. So the next time user-generated content is posted, your users can feel secure knowing that you've protected them against any malicious URLs. Getting started with the WebRisk Lookup API is easy. Once you've enabled the API, all you need to do is submit the URL to be checked against Google's block list. If there's no result, the URL is safe. Otherwise, Google will return what type of threat has been detected and when you'll want to call the API again to check if it's still unsafe. To get started with the Lookup API, we'll head over to the console. From the search at the top, search for WebRisk so that we can enable the API for use in this Google Cloud project. Now, we can create a service account to securely call the API. So, click Credentials, and then Create Credentials. We'll make a service account called WebRisk Runner. Once that's created, we can download the service account key to easily make API calls on behalf of our service account. Now, we can switch to Cloud Shell, or you can use a local environment with G Cloud already set up. First, we can set the application credentials to point to the service account key. Then, all we need to do is run this command. This command makes a request to the WebRisk API using our service account credentials. Here, we're looking for malware on the URL testsafebrowsing.appspot.com slash s slash malware.html. And the response confirms that malware has been detected on the URL, as well as an expiration time so that we can cache the result locally and know when to rescan this particular URL. There's more than just the lookup API. If you're looking for lower latency or for private scanning, WebRisk also offers an offline database through the Update API. For even more details, you can use the Evaluation API to get a confidence score, and the Submission API to report suspected URLs. There's a lot of URLs out there, so get started for free with WebRisk today to protect your users. Check out the link to learn more.